15 volunteers spent the day driving around King County documenting how hot it really was. It sounds pretty straightforward, but all of that data collected today could drastically change the way the county tackles climate change in the future. And this is the unit attaches into a car window in the passenger side window. More than a dozen volunteers today used this probe to figure out which areas suffer the most in hot weather. They will be um, driving around specific routes to kind of catch the difference. There can be um, up to a 20 degree difference between city blocks. All of the information collected today will create a heat map. We know that people with existing health disparities um, and, and chronic health issues like uh, heart disease, diabetes, they are more at risk of health impacts when we get these hot temperatures. Uh, people over age 65, pregnant women, children, people mm -hmm. taking certain medications. It's a chance to highlight obstacles that may prevent some areas from cooling down at night and fix them. It can range from trying to increase the amount of tree canopy in an area so that you get more shading. Uh, we can try to increase access to green space, again, with trees, so people have a place when it's hot to go take refuge and enjoy some outside time in shade. County leaders say it's critical work that will help the area prepare for more hot days as the climate continues to change. This is not something that's gonna go away. This is a problem that's only going to get worse in time. King County and Seattle are not alone in this. Other cities across the country are participating in similar studies this summer. Tacoma conducted a similar study last year. In Seattle, Britt Moore, King 5 News.